Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Merman, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we have this Luba Mamotion um, four-wheel drive fully robotic lawnmower. This lawnmower, once it's set up, you can set the frequency once you've mapped out your garden where it can and can't go. You can sit in your armchair, and this little tiny uh, lawnmower will go and cut this lawn or cut your lawn for you without you even lifting a finger. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to unbox it, what is and it isn't required. Um, but if you do purchase one of these, then Luba actually do have a step-by-step -step video process with about eight or 10 videos where you can do it in bits and pieces, how to set up your GPS signal system, how to download the app, how to feature all the um, processes within the app to get your Luba lawnmower all up and running. So, right, so I've got all the bits out uh, from the box from Luba. Um, and it is quite comprehensive. This is not uh, a fully comprehensive how to set it up. They do do videos. If you purchase this bit of kit, they do do videos about, there's about 10 videos, I think, step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up and to go through the motion. So they've asked for a very, very short video, so that's what I've got to do, unfortunately. Um, first of all, you have to decide which setup you need. Now, there's two setups, one like this, and then also there's one like this, okay? So the first setup is where you have your aerial for your docking station uh, actually on the platform itself of a docking station. And the second one is where you use the antenna on a roof or on a building, and then you run a cable to your docking station. And that's the one I'm gonna go for. They recommend that that's the better one to use. If you have it just on the short pole coming off of the top of a docking station, then the GPS sort of signal does tend to, or could struggle with the trees and what have you that are around you. So if you have it up nice and high, obviously you get a better signal. It can reach your satellites better. The first thing to do is to put the bumper onto your Luba. Now there's a little tiny light on, the, on, the, on one um, side of the bumper. Okay, this is a shock absorber, um, anti-impact, and there's a light just on the top, and that one goes on the on the on the uppermost. Okay, so that literally just goes in and pushes into into, into the loop like so. Once that's in, that's what you have to do there. They also supply you with some Formula One stickers, apparently, or F1 stickers, to to jazz your your um your loop up. Comes with spare sets of blades, and uh, it comes with if you're doing your docking station or if you're doing your antenna, it comes with its own separate um, instructions for each one. All the pegs and the keys. So a little tiny orange key here. You get two of those. They plug into the back here. I'll show you later on where that goes. All the stuff is here that you need to set up this device. Also, one thing I did notice, I've watched some other videos on this, and it does appear that Luba does tend to scuff your grass up right where it docks, because um, it does like a 360 once it's finished, and um, there's been a bit of a donut going on. So I think they supply this mat, which will go um, in front of a docking station to stop that scuffing happening. So make sure you've got that as well. So that's good. So everything is here. I've already attached the roof to the docking station already. That's already on. That's going to be pegged down and secured. So we'll go from there. So I'm going to have a quick look around, see, what, see where I want to set it up. I'll try and get it set up best I can, and we'll try and get you guys to see how much there is. And I may do a future video um, on showing how I actually set mine up, but I need to compress this down uh, for their video that they want me to do. So let's get cracking. I'm going to go for option two, which would be setting up my um, GPS um, docking station uh, up on top of the roof, and then I should run a cable to my, to my garage. That would be the system I'm going to use. So let me get set up, and I'll come back to you. And then round the back of Luba, you've got a point for your Bluetooth and your SIM if needed. But this is the little tiny key I give you. And it goes in either way from what I can see. It's ambidextrous. Just slide it into place and push that in firmly. It doesn't click. It just sits in there like so. Okay, so this would be roughly what your Luba will look like if you're deciding to use the, um, the docking station uh, with the platform up the top. Just sat down as it is now. So you just make sure you have to screw down your, your platform with the screws that are provided, okay? Screw them down, and then you just plug in your wire, and then you'll uh, make sure your, your, your post is nice and solid, and your antenna will go like that. So that's, that's the sort of setup. Okay, so the next process is to plug in my, uh, my receiver unit up on, up on the mast. Now what I quite like about the, uh, the setup here is that the, you get a lot of stuff, right, and it can be quite daunting but actually it's set up quite well. So on my um, RTK receiver, that's a square extension that you need for this, and the other one is triangle. So find the square one, plug it in, and then you've got a power source for that as well, uh, to, to find for that as well. So before you set any of this up, just make sure you know roughly where it's gonna go. You've got a power source. So I've got a plug outside, one for my CCTV cameras, and one for the hot tub. So I've got to figure out, as long as I can get to the uh, extension box, I can run it from all from there. So just make sure you've got your extension is all set up right, square to square, triangle to triangle. So it's quite simple. This one here is a square one. 
and it's got the, the, the square socket. The other one has got a, a triangle one, so yeah, it's quite straightforward. So that's going to be plugged into the RTK device up the top, which would be all the way back up here again. So let me just do that quickly. Okay, so quick little update. My RTK unit, let me come around here where the sun isn't. Um, on my RTK unit, I had it just on that bracket just there, didn't I? It was only picking up like 17 satellites. So now I put it on the pole and mount it even higher. And now the RTK unit is right up in the air and it picks up between 20 to 25 satellites. So that's really, really good. Right, so the first thing that it's asking for when I fire the app back up, it's asking for the automatic pole down or remove restrictions. I'll do automatic pole down and Luba should remove itself from the docking station. Uh, just a little tiny bit. Just like so, okay. Right, so it says plan uh, now manually move control Luba uh, 1.5 meters until um, the state becomes ready. So move it Luba forward about 1.5 meters. That's about there. And now it's asked me to create. So now we've got to create a um, a plan. Is your grass um, less than 10 centimeters? Yes, it is. Is the phone power okay? Yes, it is. Uh, clean all the dogs mess up. What have you done that? and then hit this button here. And now we're ready to start mapping. Now, a problem I had before was Luba was not actually showing on the map as it is here now. Okay, Luba was just showing, um, <clears throat> uh, it wasn't showing at all. So now Luba is actually showing on the map. So all we now have to do is use these as a control panel, like, a, like on, a, on, a, on a game station sort of thing, and drive Luba around and it will now map uh, going around. So what I'm just gonna do is just gonna set you guys up just over here for now, and we'll start to start to map the process. And I'll come back to you to show you what Luba's doing. Okay, so now what I've done is, um, I've mapped around the garden, all the way around, and also I've uh, just set up a no-go zone around this drain and a no-go zone around the magnolia tree. Now I'm just gonna show you what I've done. So the first thing I had to do was set up um, the perimeter, okay? That's the first thing I've done. And then once the perimeter's been set up, um, you can then drive Luba manually, you know, with, with a control stick, and then set it up to the, where the magnolia tree is just here, set that up. Um, drive it round and set it as a no-go zone, and then I manually drove it to the next one, which is this drain cover here, and manually set it as a no-go zone. So now I'm guessing, it's all been mapped. Everything is as it should be. Now if I hit the Mo button, all right, so now Luba should now start up and do its own thing. So now Luba should now start up. Uh, it's just thinking about it. It's just beeped at me. It's played a little song. The deck is now, um, Pip, come here. The deck has now started to, start, started to move. So now I'm guessing just gonna go and do its own thing. So I'll go and move this table and a mat and what have you, move it all out of the way, and then hopefully the air is all concerned, we'll get done. So I'll be back to you in two minutes. Right, so here's the Luba um, coming up to an exclusion zone or no-go zone. So as it's programmed in, it should now stop, hopefully. Stop, yeah. And it's identified that that area there is a no-go zone and it's not allowed to touch it. So now, it would go back along that no-go zone area. Didn't like the stone. And then run back down again to the area. So at the moment, the app is showing um, that it's, um, let's have a quick look at the app. The app is showing it's got 66, uh, 65 um, minutes left to go. It's at 89% charge and it's mowed 20% of the lawn already. That's what it says it's done. And to be fair, it's not doing a too bad a job. It, it is cutting. It would be nice if it cut just a little bit lower. Uh, over here in the UK, we like our lawns nice and short, but um, I dare say they have some adjustments for it, but it is doing it. Or has it finished? I think it's finished. So the lights are now flashing. Yeah, that's finished. Right on that corner. So now by rights, it's, the deck has now stopped spinning. So now it should come all the way back to its little house and park itself up and recharge itself. Let's have a quick look, see what it does. 
Now it's actually following, it, it doesn't follow the direct route. It will follow the, la the last piece. Let me just double check what the app says and dock itself up. And now it's all docked up. The green light on top of the uh, station will start to flash to say it's starting to charge itself, which is doing. So there you go. So Maluba found its way home.